Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Yep. TNT. You. Um, you've heard of uh, OnlyFans, right? Never, Jonas. What, what is this? It's uh, if you're really into uh, air motion and air propulsion, you sign up and they'll let you watch live videos of fans running 24 hours a day. Oh, see, and I thought it was like a, uh, a sports memorabilia uh, website. <laughs> <laughs> That's what so, I thought. So, anyways, so there is a story I saw online. There was a guy. I think it's a guy. Yeah, yeah. Th- that okay. was so obsessed. Oh, okay. With no. this OnlyFans yeah. model. Wow. That he uh, he got broke his her name tattooed above his genitals, Yo. and he Whoa. added her. To his life insurance policy. Yo. It says the fan spent over 25,000 pounds a year on her content and has a Yo. dedicated shrine. Oh, no. So, okay. He's We're, just beating off all day. So, so, like, there's this is so very leveled, right? Let me start with this first. If I okay. was an OnlyFans content creator. And you are. I mean, hey, you go to Jonas jo- <laughs> OnlyFans.com for us slash Jonas is Junk. Uh, <laughs> Jonas is Junk! <laughs> Jonas is Junk! That's so much funnier than what I had prepared! <laughs> what you have? Holy shit. I was going to say, what are you, like, Black Snake Moan? Or <laughs> white, white Snake Moan. <laughs> uh, but Jonas is Junk is the greatest, <laughs> dude. I'm, I'm going to subscribe. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> So okay, so say Jonas, I, I Jonas is drunk, right? All right. And and there's a and, and I, not even a Still funny. <laughs> say not even a man. Say a woman gets obsessed with me, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. at what point do your morals kick in? Never. No matter what. Never. Like like if you're just like okay, this person is spending an obscene amount of money on my junk. Yeah, they got it apparently. But what if they don't? Like what if yeah. like you find out somehow that like they're like they're actually giving away money they don't have or like yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever like do does your conscience kick in and go like like for this girl he put her on his life insurance his, That's, yeah. her name is ta- like at what point do you like say hey I need to get you uh, a psychiatrist like hey like you can spend money on me take yeah. me off your life insurance like you don't need a shrine at my it's like. I mean, They're basically yeah. becoming false god. She's like a false god to this person. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? See now, now look. I I consume a little bit of Twitch, and I kind of feel like uh, with some of the like the larger streamers who essentially you're like fleecing your community because it's like it's free entertainment. You you can sit there and watch for free, or you can pay this person money. Yeah, you can they tip, tip them. them or whatever. Yeah, so it's kind of like a similar dynamic. In fact, like a lot of people have. Talk about the correlation between like Twitch and OnlyFans and Chatterbait. And oh, dude, if Twitch let have nudity, man, they would. It, then it'd just be a porn site because that's all that people would call it for. <laughs> You're not wrong. But it's like, yeah, when do you like a lot of a lot of times in, in people's communities, you hear them say like, "Don't give if you can't," and you got to respect people who say, "Don't give if you can't." Don't make yourself go broke on my account. This right. is free, exactly. you know. So, like, I guess with. OnlyFans, like the whole idea is, is that it's a paid model already, so you're already paying. But a lot of times they'll have paywalls for the content within the. Oh content. yeah, it'll be like pay ten bucks a month, and then here's my video for seven dollars. So they still sell other content yes, on their yes, OnlyFans, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. And, but you have to pay them monthly and then pay for other content. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then like you can like pay for them to talk to you or like whatever. You know what I mean? You can or get... pay for a dick rating, which yeah, uh, yeah we don't... talked about that with the cam girls that we did a thing about. Like I just don't understand that. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Are you ever wonder like you ever want to get the car facts on your junk i don't then i could not care less what the rating is on it no for like a for looks for an honest rating i would pay upwards of 20 dollars. 20 bucks yeah for but somebody what, well, to be like thing. oh you could but, use some okay. improvement all right now we're gonna tangent and i'm fine with that <laughs> what do, what does it matter what does what matter the the rating that some rando gives you about your junk because it's not a rando it's a woman first off is subjective that's true. So, like, she could tell you it's amazing, and and the next girl would be like, "That's way too big or way too small or whatever." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You there's not, and here's the thing that I always think that's weird about people uh, getting on people about their penis size or their boob size or whatever. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it, man. That's what you that were born is, with. That is so true. But you could get you could get like enlargement. I, 
Women get enlargements. Right. Okay. BBLs and breast jobs are running yeah, amok. Here's the thing, man. Allow me to get a dick job if I want to. But. But what? I think <laughs> if if you've never had a woman like laugh when you take your pants off or tell you like <laughs> or or like or like you've never been able to satisfy a woman oh. like those are those are signs that you may not have at least an average penis right like Stop. if if no one has ever complained yeah some some people are not nice Jonas and, is literally calling out like 90% of our community what cuz 90% <laughs> Community is anti <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, you getting it too, listener. Yeah. You're so, it like, I don't understand. Like, I honestly think that people do the penis ratings because they're into degradation. Okay, so I was gonna say there is that aspect of it where it's like, yeah, give me a penis rating, but make it terrible. I want to hear the worst one. You know, it's kind of like roast me, I guess. Roast my penis. <laughs> <laughs> R slash roast me. That's what my whole channel of Jonas is junk is just people roasting my penis constantly. <laughs> It's just me standing there and someone else talking over top of it about how terrible it is. What are those? Like, oh, yeah, what are those? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those are my testicles, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I, yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, I, I I said I would pay upwards of $20. I feel like $20 ain't a bad price. No. To pay. But for an honest, like, you know, referral about, you know, where I could use some improvements. <laughs> You're like... Candy Star on OnlyFans gave me an A plus <laughs> plus. You have like a card. No, she was lying. Like, she I gave it to honest. you. She mails you a card so you can like show girls in real life, like Tinder dates yeah, on your Tinder profile. <laughs> a pl A plus plus from Candy. Whatever the hell I said. Candy Star approved. Candy Star approved. <laughs> I get a brand on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I totally don't understand dick ratings, but when when it comes to to the morals. Let's go back to that yeah, real yeah, quick because yeah. I feel like that's important. When it goes back to the morals, where do you draw the line? It's like if a person is a millionaire and there's millionaires out there right now who are sitting there like not famous. They're not doing anything with their money. They're yeah, like, they like they like yeah, I had to patent for Velcro or something like just yeah. dumb shit like that, right? Or like, like or like you know if you're in a tech industry, a lot of those they tech founded a company that got bought out by someone and they, yeah, see they yeah. have a ton of money and they're not famous. So it's like. If you have a bunch of disposable income, and it's, who am I to tell you necessarily where you should spend it? If you want to spend it on your beat off material, I wonder if spend I had like that. millions of dollars, if I would just like find some like, f I would like love well, to just spend my time going to different OnlyFans to find one that like they're actually like a really nice person or at least seem like that. And I was like, I'm gonna mm -hmm. make your life worthwhile. Their OnlyFans was like them helping the homeless, and then their boobs <laughs> fall out. <laughs> <laughs> but right, I, I gave this homeless guy a sandwich and let him touch my boobs. It's along the same lines as like if, if you're if you find a girl and you're dating her and you're like whatever and then all of a sudden you meet her boyfriend you're like oh I didn't know he existed. Yeah. Or if it's like oh you got a husband let's still bang two different scenarios. Like you know what I mean like if you don't know they exist how can you feel any way about it? So if you don't know this guy is giving you his kids college money. How do you know that that's the case? Wow. But if you find out, then then the moral dilemma comes in. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, yes, it does. <laughs> it does to a point, though. To a point, because this person's making bad decisions with their money. They're gonna make it one way or another. It should benefit somebody. Yeah, well, I feel like let, if, let it if benefit it gets me. To a point where someone's giving you like a thousand dollars a week or more. That's problematic. Then, then you mean, kind of just realize, like, okay, they're giving like this guy. Oh, she's this. This story for this person said it was like twenty five k a year, so that's two thousand dollars a month. Nuts. That's like five hundred dollars a week, all going directly into her pocket. That's crazy. Right, right. So you know, it's um for the know, majority of it. I feel like I feel probably more people do want, if they find out. Probably are like, hey, like. I would hope so, but on the same note, like I say, if they got it, they got it. We call those whales in the industry, by the way. Yeah, I mean they call it. I mean every in stocks and crypto and porn. Do they really? I guess yeah. They call yeah whales are the ones that have all the money. Okay, they come in and yeah. But you know it's like it's but yeah like I figure like if you, no matter what, let me say this: if I if Jonas's junk blew up and some girl was like I I I tattooed Jonas's junk above my vagina, I'd be like yo. Oh, All right, we're so getting that great. removed. No, no. <laughs> I couldn't do it, dude. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Some random she girl. On, she put me on her life insurance policy. I would be like, 
honey. Yes. Thank you. Put your dad on. I will cancel mine <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.